probably still wearing the same shirt. That's dirty. I wonder what they're feeding them. You know, and then cartel people probably just some bread and water. <laughs> Poor Mike. I didn't realize he was that old. You old fart you. X. Where'd the music go? Wrestling's Rundown. I'm the X-Man, and joining me as always, Drew Shannon. That's right, and not with us, of course, is TV's Mike Edwards. Or Peter Jennings. What? Peter Jennings ain't here. Mike Edwards, of course, not with us because he's been kidnapped by the cartel of Israel Street Court. You know, Drew, it's it's been like a month now since they've kidnapped Mike Edwards. Has it been a month? Yes. There's a list of demands, I haven't saw all the lists. The weird one at the end was the rubber chicken, but anyhow, there's a list of demands that Kess Edison must meet by December 5th or else. That's the Sunday before season's meetings weekend, yes. Saturday, December 11th, at uh, the Blair County Convention Center in Altoona with our good friend, WWE Hall of Famer, Nikolai Volkov. Who was just on Raw two weeks ago. That's right, I was there. And you were there. With and the Shiki second, and Snooka and all them guys. And the second show the next day at the Pasquarella Center, downtown Jonestown, September, I mean, December 12th, yes. Sunday. It is both uh, shows will be starting at 7, and of course the AON gives back from 4 to 6 before both shows. That's right. So uh, I hope for Mike's sake and the rundown's sake, Kess, you know, figures something out. I'm trying to get him back. Does Kess um, negotiate with terrorists? I don't know. He figures... He's gonna figure something out. He has to. I so hope so. It's okay, man. Have faith. We gotta show you. Uh, speaking, you know, speaking of Kess Edison and, 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 you know, sorts of projects here, we're gonna be focusing today's show on Project 13. Yippee. Uh, we've got three matches today. Randall Fairway, versus Psycho Fusion, which saw the birth of the project. Then Shane Malice, your buddy, versus GQ Maserati. No, GQ's my buddy. Oh, whatever. He uh, carried the Wild Stallions. Can I finish? No. Can I finish? I don't like Project 17. Shane Malice and GQ Maserati from Pledge Allegiance. That's a great matchup. And finally, from Autumn Massacre, Zach Rain taking on Sharon Hall. That is an awesome matchup. Sharon Hall. Ugh. Oh. Plus, of course, a roster rundown with Zach Rain and AON Investigative on the project. That's going to be interesting. But Zach Rain, that was, that was my doing. I don't know how I scored that interview, but it's pretty interesting. You guys will want to check that out. You, you seem to be doing a little bit better. You don't think no, Mike? No. You don't think Mike Edwards is a robotic lizard? I have another theory. German voodoo doll. Thing? No, I have another theory. Got a theory. What? Spy from Toontown. You need to stop. No, you need to stop, potty mouth. Potty mouth. So do you want to experience all of the action, all of the mayhem, all of the awesomeness that is AON Professional Wrestling live in your area? Well, here's what you do. Call 814-942-1122 or send us an email at aonrundown at gotimepromotions.com. 
That's 814-942-1122 or email us at aonrundown at gotimepromotions.com. We'll come to your area and we'll make it a night you'll never forget. We've had an amazing year. With the upcoming season's beatings weekend, December 11th and 12th, we wrap up 2010. That's right, and to both thank you, the fans, and to give back to the community, we'll be hosting the first annual AON Gives Back. That's right, before each show, we will have both local businesses and charities set up in the venues. And you can visit the local merchants and register to win great prize packs at each table. That means you can not only you know help the local charities, but possibly get a bunch of free stuff and that's not bad. Not, not at all. So make sure to attend Seasons Beatings Weekend, Saturday, December 11th at the Blair County Convention Center, starting at 4 p.m. And Sunday, December 12th at the Pascarella Center in Johnstown, also starting at 4 p.m. From all of us here at The Rundown, thank you for a great 2010, and we'll see you Seasons Beatings Weekend. The mysterious man calling himself Ova Thrun first appeared in the AON at the 2010 Thunder Cup event. Over what has become one of the biggest and most exciting annual events for AON wrestling, an air of confusion and uncertainty fell, as members of the roster quickly became curious as to who this masked man was, what his place was in AON, and what was Project 13. He was thought to be an outsider, trying to cause chaos among the ranks, leaving confusing notes behind in the locker room for superstars to find nightly. Then videos began to surface, showing him sneaking around the ring after hours in the dark. Some of the AON stars even received late night phone calls from this unknown character, but his plans were very vague and left much to the imagination. His game continued over the next few months with Psycho Fusion, Shane Malice, and Israel St. Patrick, mentioned as supposed targets of some of his games. In mid-July, Randall Fairway was kidnapped following an event in Ebensburg, in which a distraction from the masked man cost Randall his 814 championship. Psycho Fusion set out to find his partner, determined to unveil his whereabouts and make his captives pay. Slowly, Ova left a trail of clues that Malice himself would chase after and swear to uncover the mystery that surrounded them. Oa Thrun revealed that he himself had been responsible for Fairway's disappearance, and Fusion was furious. It soon became apparent that Ova had plans to shake the foundation of AON, and wanted to return it from the unsafe state that he saw it entering into. He said he was tired of the unjust way things were being handled, and sought to take matters into his own hands to make things right, and he wanted Shane to help him. Unsure of what to do, Malice left Ova Thrun without making a decision, and it wasn't until War for Territory 3 that he would be heard from again. Malice shocked the AON fans by joining Project 13 at the expense of his friend and tag team partner GQ Maserati. Later that night, when it was time for Project 13 to own up to their threats to Psycho Fusion, another shock followed as Randall Fairway appeared and to Psycho's disbelief, had actually joined their ranks rather than fought them off. Following the match with Fusion, Ova Thrun finally revealed himself to be none other than the White Knight of the AON, Zack Rain. The fans were livid and demanded an explanation, and Zack obliged. Let the games begin. 
The group indeed shook things up in AON over the following weeks, seeing the all but unbelievable. First with myself, not only taking up arms of Project 13, but supporting their honorable methods. I pulled the rug out from under Justin Starr and reclaimed the 814 title for Randall. And then Zach did the unthinkable. Zach's ex-partner, then AON Pennsylvania champion Bam Bam Hassel, tried to talk him out of what he was doing, but Zach would have none of it. And upon Bam's refusal to join up with them, unleashed the hounds and destroyed the bond the two shared. And then shortly after, Project 13 would fairly win the AON Pennsylvania Championship, just like the 814 title. Since the inception of Project 13, they have supported my vision by imposing their own will in the best interests of the future of AON. How far are they intending to take this? And when will enough be enough? What is left on the to-do list of Project 13? AON stars and fans alike need to remain focused on the project, because who knows what's being planned? And surely you don't want to be on the agenda anytime soon. As the stance has been made very clear, either one of us or one of them. This is Cass Edison. Thanks for watching. Randall Fairway went missing in the month of July after being kidnapped after Rough Ron Rugged in Evansburg on July 10th. He then, uh, well, his friend, you know, We'll say friends, Psycho Fusion said an open challenge to whomever took him, which turned out to be none other than Project 13 and Randall himself. Sure it wasn't Judge Doom, Roger Rabbit? Psycho Fusion, first one out. Next man in the ring to make the formal introductions. It's just amazing how this guy's turned around and become such a fan favorite. I don't know how. They're on their feet cheering for him. Well, maybe they feel sorry for his plight, looking for his friend, his confidant. Are you finished? Are you finished? What? I mean, seriously, I mean, what else? Do people feel bad for this guy. I kind of feel sorry. I mean, Randall was his friend. Randall was his keeper. His whatever you want to call him. Boy's got to stand on his own two feet at some point. All right. I don't know if he's completely capable of standing on his own two feet. I mean, he's you not... Gotta, you gotta learn to crawl before you can walk. His he's name is Psycho for, Fusion. Yeah, well, he's been crawling for quite some time. You can come over here and you can... Hey, Psycho, come over here and tell, talk to Drew for a minute. He's got something to tell you. That's okay. You can keep him over there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, oh, and here comes... Overthrown. The mysterious Overthrown. Shane Malice. Great. So these are the guys that have Randall Fairwell. Well... well their mystery opponent is... Well, which one is it? Which one of these guys is it going to be? I don't know. I think we're about to find out who... Uh... Wait a second. You... Is that... It... No. There's no way. They've then... brainwashed him. They have completely brainwashed Randall Fairway. Psycho is happy. Look at him. He thinks that Randall is coming back down to... 
Because he's a bonehead. He's on. he is not your friend anymore. Psycho, this is not the same Randall Fairway that was there whenever uh, back in Evansburg when he's kidnapped. Psycho, he's wearing the fisty wings now. All right. You're helping. Helping him in the ring? Oh, this is not good. This is not going to go well for Psycho. X Mannington the Third is back with us again. Shut up, True. But is he hugging him? He's excited. It's his buddy, Randall Fairway. Look, just like they used to do. Oh! No, it's different now. It's not quite... No oh, slap. A snap. Mm. No, series of slaps. Come on. Misses a big right hand, and now... Psycho going to work on Randall Fairway. Come on, Psycho. Psycho doesn't stand a chance. Who's this guy over here wearing... Oh, that's just true shit. Shut oh. up, X. Big knockdown by Randall Fairway. Uh, did he just spit on him? Ew. That's... That's a haunch trick. This is not the same Randall Fair. Oh, there, come nice, on! Nice takedown. Flying head scissors. Right in front of us here. There's the mysterious overthrew. That guy just gives me the creeps. Yeah. This whole situation gives me the creeps. Randall Fairway is a member of... Uh-oh. I don't Psycho. understand it. Project Boom! Yeah. Look at this! High risk maneuver, Psycho! Wow! War for Territory 3, baby. Look at this capacity crowd on hand. Over 450 guys. people here witnessing We're the making... end of the friendship between Randall Fairway and, and Psycho Fusion. And if Psycho has his way, the end of Randall Fairway. I don't know. I doubt that's going to happen. Come on, Psycho. Get him. Randall the he deserves what he gets. Fairway. He's begging on him. Laura Hit Man him. Randy. That's it. Laura Man. Hit him. And I'm like, oh, he oh! <laughs> uh, is he still the Rainmaster? Or... Oh. Look at these idiots Fairway's over here with their hands up in the air. Do you see that? Be over uh, Andrews. Let's sit down, you guys. Jeez. Leave them alone. They got the right to express themselves. Yeah, well, they look like bees over there. This was a fun evening, a fun day until this happened. Ooh. Yeah, this is baseball been a, slides this is, kicked this by is just Randall unbelievable, Fairway. but it's Randall Fairway is the mystery opponent for Psycho Fusion, and there's Shane Malice. He's angry at himself, his mom, and Nickelback. Well, anybody. Nickelback. Yeah, that's that's Kess Edison's mom at Riverside. Now Psycho. She's enjoying she's, the show. She's enjoying this. Miranda Edison, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, she's a Randall Fairway fan. I don't know why, but I used to show up to this. I don't know. Throw Psycho across the ramp there. You know Steps. what, though? Even though Randall Fairway, apparently now a member of Project 13, do not take away the credentials of Randall the Ringmaster Fairway, oh. former 814 champion. Well, no, there's no denying that. Losing the title, though, which I don't get, back at Rough Raw and Rugged. Oh, no! Oh, wait, oh, wait. wait a minute. Come on. I Come on. No, dude. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Right out man. in front of the gorilla position. Bye bye, Psycho. Can we get a replay? Bye bye. Come on, Randy, oh, Psycho! God is my witness. Psycho Fusion is dead. Wow. Unbelievable. I, I don't know how he could get back in this matchup now. And over here, we got the mysterious Oba Throne and the mysterious Shane Malice. Well, it's not that mysterious. You know who Shane Malice is, at least. Oba Throne, we're still trying to figure out the identity of him. Man, I'm I, still trying to figure out your identity, Drew. It's just unbelievable that these people that are following Project are willing to do to their friends, tacky partners, anybody. Tell them, Randall. We can only imagine you know, what Oba Throne would do to one of his own friends. Look what, he's, look what Randall's doing it. His, you know, best friend. His. There's no friendship anymore. I can see, oh, None. No. Oh, man. Yes. Running from where he's from. Psycho Fusion, I think the mask is... Help. Adds to the mystique and the yeah. character that is Psycho Fusion. If you uh, recall, Psycho comes. didn't always wear there a mask we here in AOA. That is true. It was Randall Fairway that gave him the mask, nonetheless. Here we go. There's that Ooh. patented Randall Fairway knee. What's that called? Just a running knee to the face. Uh, but Randall Fairway has that knee brace on, so it makes it a little bit more devastating. That's true. Randall it's Fairway, called. he does have a bad knee, and he wears that knee brace to protect that knee. It's called painful. Shut up, Drew. You shut up. It is interesting, though. So far, two members, one, two, kick out. Oh, you can't pin him like that. The two members uh, that we know of this 
faction yeah, both guy. have knee injuries. Get Drew Shannon off the after party list. There's an after party? Well, that war for territory after party. I'll be there. I got my invite. Oh, a big slap in the corner. He I just got chopped Bruce down. <laughs> Talk to the broker about this. Now, yeah, shorter blocks. There's Ooh. a European uppercut. Now, watch this. This is classic Randall Fairway. And no, Super Fusion knew him too much. <laughs> How do you thumb a guy in the eye? It's wearing a mask. He did it. it still That's hurts. powerful thumbs. That's classic huh? wrestling Ooh. right there. With the turnbuckle. Nice maneuver there. Drop toe hold. Now, uh, drop kicked in the knee. Oh, he drop kicked him. Sorry. You are the professor. Yeah, yeah, I got it right. And oh! Now, face crusher or face buster, whatever you want to call it. It's a knee to the face. That, that works too. And now, watch this. Oh! Oh, man. Nothing nice done. Nothing simple. Come on, Randall. Kick out. Kick out. Now he's doing whatever he can to beat the bigger man. I don't blame him. Second Fusion's got to do whatever he can. Uh, he's starting to realize the importance of the situation, I think. And he's going for that, that cross face. Get him back. Now, Randall Fairway rolling into the ropes. Oh, wisely moving out. Yeah, very smart. That, that's a devastating move. Now throwing Sego outside, of course. We have Ova and Shane. Ova and Shane. And there's nobody down here to help out poor Psycho. Sounds like a man. Oh, there goes. We know right now, for the longest time, Psycho and uh, Ryan. Hey, look, at, sorry, look at Randall. He's he's not slapping the hand down, not letting Randall Psycho drop away. it. It's a smart maneuver. In fact, I don't think the first one counted. This is it. Now. This is it. <coughs> no. No, 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 no. Come on, Psycho. It's a camera. Take care of Come on, Randy. Christian. There's the classic kick pads Here over the sandals of Randall Fairway. A couple elbows. Very deep. Oh, oh right, right back, back, back into it. Wisely done by... Oh! Well, wearing down Psycho Fusion. Jawbreaker. What a great move by Psycho and down Fusion. Goes the bigger man. Come on, Psycho. You're on a roll. You've you've got him. Stay on him. Don't let him go. Drop kick. Randall Fairway. Whoa! 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 whoa. whoa. Ducks the clothesline. Exploding. Man, a big flying forearm. Nicely done. And another drop kick. Beautiful drop kicks here by Psycho Fusion, who is feeding off this capacity crowd here in Johnstown. Well, let's face it, the thing about Psycho Fusion is the guy's not normal. Ready? Here we go. Oh, really? One, he himself Psycho. two, three, four, five. Whoa! I don't even think Randall completely knows where he's coming from. And he's been with Psycho Fusion for a while. Six, seven, eight. Oh. Is he going to get it? Is he going to get to ten? Oh, nope. big boot. Straight to the head. Nothing fancy about that. No good for X, because I don't think he can count to 10. I can't. I can only count to uh -oh. 11. I don't know what he was planning, but Randall moved. Oh! oh! Big bulldog from the top row. Sick! That was awesome. That was that was amazing. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him in the psycho cross face. Got him in that cross face. Uh, come on. He's not going to get him, though. Tap him. Come on, He's Randall. Not tap. Come on, Randall. He's not going to tap. He's not going to tap. Pull, you need to pull back harder. Pull back more, Psycho. Shades of the greatest wrestler of all time. Psycho Fusion. Yes, what a maneuver there. Psycho. And of course, now we've well, got... Shane Malice up on the apron. Come on. This is ridiculous. Get down, Shane. Thank you. He's only Good pointing boy. something out to the ref. Yeah, he's pointing something out, I'm sure. Oh, he's... no. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Can it be? Could it be? Here it comes. Whoa! Oh, to the dentist. He caught him. He caught him. <laughs> he caught him. Good. Yeah. Yes, he did. My goodness. Now, Randall now pin him, Randy. Pal. Pin him. That's got to be it. One, two. No! no! Psycho Fusion Psycho. still in this match. Psycho still in this match here at War for Territory. What is it going to take to put this guy away? Look on You're Randall going to Fairway's have to face. kill him to get him to stay down. That's all there is to it. Psycho Fusion, one tough mother. Enough. I'm, I kind of agree. You're going to really have to do something more It is a this. Saturday night. I can say that, right? It's a family show. Uh, unbelievable. And now... Over three. Randall Fairway. No, it's Sunday night. Isn't it? You figure out what night it is. I'm going to keep on the action. This is an amazing matchup. Uh oh, now what's he said? This is an amazing matchup this must right be, here. Is he going for through the wire? No, reversal. No. Here at the showcase of Immortals. Oh, my God. Oh. Psycho Bomber, I believe Psycho. he called it. Psycho wow, Brominated? That was amazing. That was, that's a feat of strength right there to be able to do that to Randall Fairway. Randall Fairway is no slouch. He's about 285. 295. You 295, are close. close enough. You're closest without going over. Well, he right. moves around pretty well around that ring for a, for a big man. Well, yes, it's, he does. For a bigger fella. No question. And oh, oh. kick out. Not enough to keep Randall do Fairway that. down. Yes. Knew you're he was going to kick You're not going to pin Randall Fairway like that. No. This is a classic matchup here. Randall Fairway from wherever the circus is. As he, uh, we know from his intro. 
Used to be with the Three Ring Circus. Well, I don't think he's with the Three Ring Circus anymore. Or the family. Yeah. And now he's with Project 13. And but here's the thing: anytime he's serious over Throne. Anytime he's with a faction, it does well. And there's Ooh. a necktie neckbreaker. That's a beautiful maneuver. Psycho, Psycho feeling it. He's feeling it. Can he be going for it? Come on, Psycho, put him away, he's buddy. He's ready. He's going for Edge of Sanity. Now that Psycho Frog Splash him. It's a it's done. And oh, oh, oh Shane Malice. Malice. That's a disqualification. That's a disqualification. Psycho that's it. wins. And of course. Uh, Shane Malice, like he does everybody else, pushes him off that edge of sanity. And now, oh, an overthrown here is helping up Randall Fairway. Fairway. Doesn't matter, the wind goes to. So, hey, my well, hands off the referee, that's going to be a fine. And now, just stopping. These guys don't play by the rules, come on. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, that's going to be. Oh, there there's he is. Fear. There's what I'm talking about. Oh! oh <laughs> the spot. Double <laughs> super kicks. Wow, that's unreal. Oh, Shane, that's count your teeth, right? Well, here's exactly. The... I don't know who this man I'd like to take a moment to reintroduce myself under my new title. See, I'm no longer your 814 champion. I have upgraded. I am your all or nothing wrestling's Pennsylvania heavyweight champion. Not to be confused with my weak and worthless competitors who have preluded my championship reign. See, unlike them, I am not self-centered. I am not egotistical. I am not weak-minded. I refuse to be hunted. I refuse to be the prey on a roster full of competitors that aren't worth my time. I see on your website you got a pool to see who's going to be my next opponent. Who's going to challenge me for this belt? Well, I want to up the stakes. I'm going all in. I'm issuing an open challenge to any professional wrestler in the world. I don't care if you're from Pittsburgh, Ohio, Philadelphia, New Jersey, Florida, Connecticut. If you think you can beat me, show up at the Blair County Convention Center December 11th at 7 o'clock and be first of many men to fall at the hands of Randall Fairway. All or Nothing Wrestling would like to take this time to thank our sponsors for their continued support. Looking for a great way to raise money for your group or organization? All or Nothing Professional Wrestling can work with you and your group to put on an entertaining, family-friendly show to raise the money you need. Scout troops, sports boosters, youth groups, nonprofit groups, school organizations, and more can benefit from a fundraising event with All or Nothing Professional Wrestling. For more information, call 814-942-1122. That's 814-942-1122 or email contact at aonwrestling.com. Let AON help you with your next fundraiser after Shane joined the project he had one loose end to tie up his former tag team partner GQ Maserati and he did this at Pledge of Allegiance 2 in Johnstown at war for territory now they're getting ready to lock up and it just there's a lot of dislike between these two right now I really can't blame GQ for being a little upset with Shane Shane has his own path that he needs to follow yeah, but at what cost? I mean, this, this, these guys are friends, they're tag team partners. Grand Dave faced each other a couple times, but that's why you pick each other. Oh, GQ was holding him down. Come on, you know it. Uh, GQ's the man. GQ carried the Wild Stallions. GQ carrying that beer pretty good. I'm actually a little jealous. I think you gotta grow one. And Kess Edison out here at ringside earlier this evening revealing himself as a member of Project 13. Yeah, I don't, still don't know what to think about that. He's been a friend of mine for a long time. I'm a little confused as to what is. Well, maybe I better sit down. Yeah, I hear. Well, he's you. got a different colored tie on. Well, here. I would think Kess Edison's going to be cleaning up the AON now that he's a member of Project 13. He kind of sees what's going on here. I need to sit down and have a chat with him sometime. I tried to, and he told me to shut up. I can believe that. Sometimes he's being a big wrestler. I don't know what to think of Hang on, hang on. Mr. Mr. Resident, do you, do you need and some now, coffee, Mr. Shut Edison? up, Drew. I certainly told you. 
Me, I'm yes, sir. Uh, myself. Shutting up now. Now. Mr. Mr. Epstein, would you like coffee? Shane Mouse complained to the referee. Guy. What are you, one of the stooges? Just standing over here behind us right now. Making me a little slightly nervous. I don't... I'm wearing the broker's shirt. Miss Chestmont, what are you looking at Why did you for? do that? Because he threw it at me. He's got a shirt on. It says, shut up, X-Man. Yeah, I mean, I... Well, take his advice. Nothing personal, X. Uh, I mean, you're, we've been through this a well, lot here. Well, change of maneuvers right here. But, uh, I, I thought the shirt was kind of funny in a way. Well, I laughed too, but... Okay. As long as we all had a good laugh, I think. Well, yeah, I, I, I always a good laugh. And now, big takedown. Oh, and now, this is the elbow. elbow. This is the elbow. elbow. These are former tag team this champions. Drop. Partners, they know this each other. Kick. Reversal. Look at this reversal. Come point. on, ref. That's a no. three. Kick out. That's a three. Really? Come on, uh, GQ. Now just shoves him. That's not going to do you any favor. Oh, oh man. And GQ's stronger. He just knocked him on his keister, meester. Shane made me cry on the rundown. Go, GQ. Thank you, Marge Simpson. What? Oh, Shane made me cry on the rundown. How long? How much longer are you going to be playing that tune? Because it's getting you old. Want some coffee. I saw Shane crying backstage. He's kind of emo as it is. Well, yeah, Nikolai, yeah. Nikolai in the background walking up. What, is he upset too? Probably. No, and Nikolai now, Volkov is here tonight. Now, these two, he's like, oh, let me make up. You want to go back with Nikolai? Oh, never mind. Cry in the back there. Big need in the midsection. I'll have you take him out of here. What, did Shane hurt Nikolai's feelings, too? A couple less in the midsection. Probably. Fire Shane off the ropes. Shorter block. Because I know for a fact Shane don't like Russians. Yeah, show off a little bit. Over the back of GQ. And they both went for the same move. What was that? Well, they know each other. They both went to... Well, yeah, they're former tag team champions in the Wild Stallions. You've seen the reversals they're pulling on. Nice snap suplex. suplex. Nicely done. Two. That was three. Come on. Should just give it to him anyway. Yeah, just... I'm going to ring the bell and just say GQ. Yeah, Give me that. You put that hammer down. Like I said, Cass is my friend, but I still don't care much for Shane. He comes on the show. He hates all three of us. Shane doesn't like anybody. No. Look, Shane's his own person, okay? And I know he doesn't like me. You know, i got to respect him, though, as an athlete. He is a consummate as, professional. As an athlete, I respect him. It's I his attitudes too, outside of the ring that I don't care for. I like and his attitude outside of the ring. Shane backing off. Yeah, come on. That's right, Shane. Just sissify your way out. And oh, yeah. You'll pat him on the sissify. back, Sissify. Oh, and just look at that! Just chop him! Yeah, yeah, look at this! Come on, ref! Yeah, I think Shane's a little. He's on now. the ropes. Now Break it up! Oh, this, this is, is awesome. great! No, Keep it up, no, GQ. no, 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 no! Oh, oh man! Yeah, I like that. Follow up shot. Just stay okay. away from GQ. I'm gonna Cass. take this shirt off. Now. Keep that shirt on. This is it. Just stay back, Cass. Oh, this thanks, is personal. crazy Bob. I even got this bandana thing on no, here. That's a necktie. You, oh. you Rick Springfield all of a sudden? Eat your heart out, Rick Springfield. Now jump. Oh, Buries a knee into the midsection. They're right in front of us, Drew. Where are you at, Mike? I'm running. Look at this! Oh, over Whoa. the barricade. And amazingly, uh, he lays on his feet. The action that is all or nothing professional. And GQ. Oh, he oh should. yes, look at this. He paid for his ticket. <laughs> Best I think seat he reserved, Yeah, he reserved that seat for himself. Look out, look out, Cass. Hot pursuit now, hot pursuit. Look out, look out, Cass. And now back, and of course Shane suckering him into the ring. It's the only way he can suckering get Suckering him into the ring? Yeah, it's the only way he can get an edge up on GQ. I'm sorry, where's the action supposed to be taking oh, place? Oh, and kicked it back to the In the ring? Neck. Yeah. Of course in the ring, but he, the way he did it is how, it's how he, of course, he gets the advantage. Oh. And now, Mike Woo! Because he's up. smart. Okay. I don't know about smart, but talented, yes. I've given the guy his dues. He's a, you know, a great wrestler, no question. Just reversal. Oh, into that turnbuckle and hey, Drew, splash. Why don't you get gas in Virginia? Is it cheaper down there? About five cents. I'm okay. tell you, you got gas earlier. Now yeah, off the ropes. Chili dog. Yeah. Oof. Big clothesline misses it. Neck Boy. breaker, nicely done by GQ Maserati. That was, a, that was an awakening. That was really One GQ. Right there. One, two, no. And a kick out by Shane Malice. Shane Malice, one tough individual. Say what, what you will about his attitude. Couple kicks to the back. Project 13 will not what admit. Is this? Look at this. What is this? Oh, no. Come on. This, Come is, a family on. this is a family show. Really? This you is the guy you're rooting for. You're riding the for 13 seconds. This is the guy you're rooting for. Oh, yeah. That's real classy. Real classy. Low drop kick. Oh, sorry. GQ now. GQ Maserati. Stay on him. Stay on Shane. Oh, here we go. There you go. Got him now. I don't know what GQ's thinking, but I'm going to like it. Uh, right to the face. Definitely like that. What GQ should be GQ's thinking of is probably good. about joining the project. Why? Oh, uh, what's this? GQ over the top rope. It's oh, really nicely done. Nice top top show from somebody's base. What, are you living in a cave? I'm living in a box. Kane with oh, Shane with that kick. kick. Shane's educated feet. 
And now, oh, this can't be good. He's going up to the high rent district. You know, oh no, he's heading up for that Flight 93. Can he hit it though? This is going to be it. Flight this... 93 on September 11th. Flight oh! 93! Down into the middle of the ring. Beautiful maneuver. One, two, two. no! Kick out. Kick, he, oh, that's usually a three count. Come on, Shane. Oh, and, oh, and Cass with that evil point, just like that evil monkey. Yeah, lives in Drew's basement. I thought it was Chris's clock. But anyway, uh, yes. now Shane, now what's he going to do? Oh, he's going to take care of business. Oh, this is not good. He's got him in that key ooh, lock. Ooh, ooh. Oh! oh! The elbow. I think he just busted his arm. I think he just fell behind in penmanship. He might have dislocated an elbow even. Maybe the wrist. Now he's working it over now. I have to say that this is kind of smart from Shane. He did it legally. Whoa, misses the kick into the pump handle. Pump handle. Up. Oh, handle. man, what a neck breaker that right was. To the back of the neck. That's an amazing neck breaker. That's it. That's it. One, two, and no, a kick out. Oh. Wow, GQ is really, he's hanging in there with Shane. And Shane's starting to. Shane's getting frustrated, and I can't say as I blame him. I don't think Shane expected. Uh oh. There we go. <coughs> I think we're going to see uh, GQ counting his teeth here shortly. I have 31. And I think uh, I'm proud. GQ gonna have one less as well. Here we Just go. Work. Whoa! That's what happens when you're tag team partners for so long. Elevate! Oh! oh! And then a face buster. Nicely done. Come on, nice. GQ, stay on him. Stay on him, GQ. Stay on him. Stay on GQ. Knife edge chop taking down Shane Malice. Aren't you friends with Cass Addison? I'm friends with Cass Addison, not Shane Malice. Oh. I'm friends with Shane Malice. You are? Not. I thought not. Oh, GQ going up now. Shane, here like we go. Here we go. This is here we go. X. This is my you. My favorite move in AON. The left handed. No. Oh, the cross body. Hey, that works just as well. And I know he's going for the left handed Nicely elbow done. drop. Come on, and now GQ getting the capacity crowd here at the Pascarella Center here in downtown Johnstown. Trying to get him fired up. He's and we are live. And now he's stalking his opponent. Oh, I oh. Love him. can we get a live graphic in the corner? Nope. No. Thanks for asking. GQ setting up for that uh, GQ gym. Come on, hey, okay. wait a minute. Right. Zach Ray. He's right. got his foot. What? Zach Ray's helping the what? Always what? what? Wait a minute. Oh, of course that's here. why the referee wasn't over. Kess saw, saw the turnbuckle was loose. Oh, come on. No, he just said something about a hamburger. What is this? What is this? Get out of the ring, what? Zach. Wow. Oh, that was a nice maneuver. Too bad it's not oh, a tag here. team match. Oh, we're here to One, clean up. Two, three. Come on. <laughs> that's a travesty of justice right here. We've had an amazing year. With the upcoming season's beatings weekend, December 11th and 12th, we wrap up 2010. That's right, and to both thank you, the fans, and to give back to the community, we'll be hosting the first annual AON Gives Back. That's right, before each show, we will have both local businesses and charities set up in the venues. And you can visit the local merchants and register to win great prize packs at each table. That means you can not only, you know, help the local charities, but possibly get a bunch of free stuff, and that's not bad. No, not at all. So make sure to attend Seasons Beatings Weekend, Saturday, December 11th at the Blair County Convention Center, starting at 4 p.m. And Sunday, December 12th at the Pascarella Center in Johnstown, also starting at 4 p.m. From all of us here at The Rundown, thank you for a great 2010, and we'll see you Seasons Beatings Weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another AON Rundown roster rundown. I'm Drew Shannon, and it is my extreme pleasure and to, to have this gentleman here with us, Zach Rain of Project 13. Uh, Zach, I know you don't grant too many interviews, but I appreciate you sitting down with us today. Fair enough. Zach, first of all, how did you get your start? I started in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania a couple years ago. I trained under a guy named Mike Thorne. He was, uh, Next door neighbor, actually, in a uh, ring in his yard, and I uh, just kind of got obsessed with it, I guess. Uh, what do you? Well, it's kind of a crazy question because you've already come on the rundown and 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 answered this next question, but I'm going to ask anyways. What are your main goals here in the AON? I mean, it used to be, you know, to be the uh, the high flyer, to just to just have fun. That's what it used to be. That's when it was fun. Yeah. But uh. Things have changed, people have changed, and they're all selfish now. And I, I guess my main goal is to try to restore order, to take things back to the way they should be. 
who was your inspiration to get into this business in the first place? Um, the first match I can remember watching was uh, was the Royal Rumble when Shawn Michaels entered in at one and went the whole way through. I think it might have been in '94. I'm not 100 percent sure. But I was a big Michaels fan growing up, but it, it really didn't take me long to get into uh, get into the indie stuff. I'm a big fan of uh, a lot of the strong style Japanese wrestling. What are your thoughts on the current state? Of, why am I asking this? It's I'm going to ask anyways. What are your thoughts on the current state of AOM? It's pathetic. I used to respect these guys. I used to look at them like family and brothers. A uh, few more than others, but people show their true colors when you flash money and fame in front of them, and they don't do it for the right reasons anymore. I want you to tell the fans out there what some of your signature moves are, for those who are just tuning in for the very first time. Sure thing. Um, I'd say the move that everybody knows me for is probably the Insiguri, which is, you know, everybody throws them, but yeah. not nobody like me. That's, that's, it's put away more people than I can probably count, and it's definitely my go-to big gun. Um, Nitro Kick, too, which is, uh, oddly enough, uh, was given to me by a guy that I really don't get along with. Um, tried to show me how to do it, thought it was stupid, and then just did it by instinct one match, and I've been firing it off ever since. Should describe uh, your finisher or finishers. Um, my main finisher is uh, the rainstorm, which is a uh, it is a corkscrew half moonsault into a diving senton splash. Um, real hard to aim, but uh, had a lot of time to work on it. And uh, when I need to, it's uh, it's yeah, it, it's the will you will not kick out scenario. Um, I also have, I've been toying around. I mean, you've got to see it recently, which is uh, my Kamora lock. It's modified. I uh, do a quarter turn, uh, quarter turn flip, and lock in the key lock. It's unbelievable. You have to witness this in person. Which leads me to my next question: Why should the fans come out and see AON live? Because hopefully, at some point, we can we can make it something worth watching again. Don't get me wrong; these guys are talented, but power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And uh, they think they're holding all the cards, and it's caused their heads to swell. So, come see Project 13, and we're gonna we're gonna show you what wrestling's supposed to be about. All right. Finally, do you have any closing comments? Maybe to the fans out there, maybe to anybody in the AON roster. The time for games is over, guys. We told you for months it was either gonna be one of us or one of them, and if you're not with the project, then you're not safe anymore. Jeremy, Eric, Sherrod, I'm sorry. You were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Pick a side. Zach Rain, thank you very much, sir. Thank you for having me. That's Zach Rain. It's been another roster rundown. Stay tuned to the AON for more roster rundowns in the coming weeks. I'm Drew Shannon. Have you ever dreamed of stepping into the ring? Well, now is your chance. All or Nothing Professional Wrestling now offers training to be a pro wrestler, manager, or referee. Achieve your dream. You will learn under our highly trained instructor, including WWE Hall of Famer Nikolai Volkov. To sign up or for more information, visit www.aonwrestling.com or call 942-1122. That's 942-1122. This is Nikolai Volkov Hall of Famer. If you would like to become a professional wrestler, aonwrestling.com. Zach Ray, the man who started this whole Project 13 stuff, stepped into the ring against the Compendium of Cool. That's right, Sherrod Holm at Autumn Massacre back on October 30th. He showed why he is one of the top stars in all or nothing professional wrestling. So did Sherrod. I didn't get my purple stuff. No, I, didn't, I, I like And now, Zach trying to get a quick one in. Well, then, the referee calls for the bell. Irish Winsman. went off to the far side, ducks a clothesline. Oh, this is with a kick. 
Big Sprout right hits. with a series of jabs. Well, that's basically when that big man hits you. All 272 pounds. That is a... That hurts. Float like a butterfly, sting like a Mack truck. Well, he just got him one-handed like he's nothing. Just walk around the ring with oh. and slams into the mat. After all, Sherrod Hall, he outweighs Zach Randis' match by 100 pounds. Come on, why does Cass Edison have to be at ringside? Because he's a member of the project. He's the leader. He's got to be here to cheer on his man. And what's he wearing sunglasses for? No offense, Trevor. Oh, none taken, sure. He wears his sunglasses at night so he can go out. What is he, Corey Hart? Now? Misses with the clothesline. Oh, I don't know what he was trying there, but did, it didn't yeah, work. I, I don't know what he was uh -oh. trying to do. Oh, and Sherrod Hall was able to slip out of that pin combination. He knew what Zach was trying for, and now back and forth. Oh, hey. big, uh oh. Backbreaker. Oh, 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 he got oh, oh. that one. Can I get a replay of that? No. Martin said no this time. Martin. Zach Rain just about snapped in half. Snack, Zach Rain almost became a snack. Rain. I was told that. Ted is tired of telling you no, so now Martin's going to do it from now on. Shut up, Pirate. You know, speaking of Zach, Arr. talking about Zach Rain, I actually, and uh, it's, just, it's an exclusive. I'm going to share this with you guys. Oh, Damn. wait, wait, wait. Some stuff going on on the ringside. Look back nice. and forth, back and forth. Oh, Sherrod Hall takes down. The Come on, go get Cass Edison. Hey. Oh, you don't lay your hands see? on Cass. See, he knows better. Think twice about that. See, look, he fixes the man's oh. tie. Make sure he looks nice. Nice, Sherrod, just kick him. Sherrod Hall is a nice guy. He likes everybody. He is a generally nice yes, guy. Yes, in fact, there's that pirate ship out front. He was helped cleaning it and was giving rides to the children on it. That's awesome. Was he pulling? Yes. Oh, man. I'm going to get a ride in Sherrod Hall. Anyways, what I, was, what I was saying is earlier, I have scored an exclusive interview with Zach Rain. Ooh. We'll be airing that on a future AON Rundown episode. That's great. Episode. He gets Zach Rain. I get it. He's real free for core. Hey, you got to do ISP tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Me too. And now over the top rope, Zach Rain on the outside, ducks the big man, and that's about the smartest thing he could have done. Well, I know you want to get the interview with Zach Rain because there's something going on between you and the project. There has to be. Why do you think that? I don't know. I've just I got know. this weird you're suspicion. Like a pirate tonight? What's that got to do with the Project 13? Because you've been kind of sticking up for Project 13 a little bit Because they both start lately. with P. Projects, pirates. I mean, I'm starting to see through these guys. He's starting to convince me that I'm part of the project. Just from that logic alone. Pirates and projects. They both start with P. Now, Zach Rain has got a great arm bar right here. Walking up on uh, Sherrod Hall. Got the big man grounded. The smartest thing he can do. This is going to be a great match. Both of you guys are great oh, athletes. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. Take, take nothing away from... And Sharon Hall, former tag team partner with Black Lightning and the Cool Crowd. Yeah, he, that really didn't last that long. You know, Zach Rain, former tag team. So I'm sure these guys have met. Yep. Uh, I don't recall if Team Salucha ever did face the Cool Crowd. I, I don't they know if they have either. I don't believe they have in their Maybe in a house existence. Show. That could be possible. And you know, of course. Oh, oh man, ooh. kick in the back. Wow. You can hear the smack of that to the back. Work on that weak arm that he draped over the top rope. All the way back to the haunted house. Yeah. It's Rod Hall. Of course, like you said, member of the cool crowd. Oh! A little dead weight. I'm not talking about Black Lightning. Oh, Black Lightning is not dead. He's uh, not dead. He's man, doing well. Eight. He's very well alive. One, One two. two. And Sherrod Hall, you're not going to be able to pin the big man that easily. Well, later tonight, Black Lightning and each Shane Malice, who's sitting, standing at ringside, are going to go at it for the all-new AON TV Championship. Looking is forward it, to that match. Is it wise for Shane to be out here? I mean, shouldn't he be in the back getting ready for the match? I would, yeah, I would think he should be back there resting. I wouldn't go back there. And now, off the ropes, Sherrod Hall. Oh, Ooh, oh, big stiff big. kick to the purple stuff. Right to that wow. shoulder. You like to call him Purple H, correct? I have Purple H. He told me to call him the self-professed Purple's champion. What? And Shane. Oh, hi, Shane. How are you? <laughs> nice to see you, bud. What was that? Anyway, he thought he had something important to say. He's usually wrong. Come on. You can hit that clown, Zach. Yeah. No, Zach. Don't hit the... Come, wait, on, wait, come, wait, on. come on. Turn around, ref. Stupid. And now, just standing on the chest of Sherrod Hall. Nothing fancy about that. No. And it's just trying to wear him down. He has a five count. He utilizes it. Stevens needs to get control of this match. Yeah, he... At least he needs to get Shane away from ringside. Let Kess out here. Kess is fine. Well, yeah, he needs to get these guys away from ringside. Yeah, I mean, it's three on two. On one. Sorry. I had Zach facing for some reason. Why? Okay. I don't know, because I'm so used to Zach just being such a uh, fan favorite. and It's, it's hard because he's trying to, you know, fight the power of the bees of AON. But what is Zach trying to do? I don't know. I think he's just trying to take a headlock, but he's not doing it very well. Whoa. And that's what he's going to get for his trouble. 
Oh, oh no. no. Hold on. Now where is he going? Oh, that's a nice shot here. Cass Edison right over the shoulder. He needs a haircut. And now, Zach Rain going to the top? I do too. Oh, no. Stealing my hairstyle. This can't be good. This oh can't be good. God. No, it's not. Oh, Up man. Up to the top. Oh! Jeez. Oh, I think he broke his butt. Wow. Oh, I don't even know what to call it. That was just amazing. I call that, that the called Gluteus a, Maximus. I call that a chiropractor's dream. I got a good chiropractor. Man. I know um, a good dentist, too. Well, I think well, that right now... Well, why don't you visit them sometime? Zach can use that chiropractor. Come on, guys. Get up. This match can't end this way. This is a great matchup. Uh, so there's got to be a clear-cut winner. I know, Cass. Get away. I mean, with these guys out here, it could be the project. They're probably going to end up winning. But come on, Sherrod. Or, or project. What do you mean? Or project. Or project? What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Come on, Project. Let's go, Project. Oh, they're both getting up now. They're both on their feet. They got big swing. Feet. Oh! Jeez. Uh, wow. Big right hand rocked. Cass Edison's not like Zach this. Green. Well, can you blame him? No, the Project can't be liking this at all. Right now, Zach Green is having a problem finding a solution to Sherrod Hall. Yes, he. Hey, that was pretty good. Wow. Thank you. Oh, no. The backbreaker. He's got him in that Argentina backbreaker. Just no. dropped him off. Whoa, wait, wait, hey, wait, what's wait, going wait. on here? Stig. Let's get back to the action. I think like, that was the Pasquarella Center wall. I think the uh, cameraman duck count your teeth from Shane out here. Oh, he's Zach off the rope. I think Shane. He gets in caught. There. He gets caught. Oh man, is he oh! on the rope? Big spine buster. That's Two. it. That's gotta be. That's no, is that no? I that's thought that was three. Was that three? Well, I haven't that was seen this in a while. Octopus. No. Somebody just threw a bottle in the ring. Who threw a bottle in the ring? I think it was Randy, my buddy here. I'm pretty sure it was somebody at ringside. Was Randall sitting with this? No, my buddy. Uh oh, Randy. oh, oh! Now oh. look where Shane, look where Zach's at. Oh no, Shane threw no. Zach over. We knew what was coming up next. That big backsplash from Sherrod Hall. And Come Miss, on, Michael, uh, get him in the ring. Yeah, Miss Camera Lady, you better move out of the way. I think Zach yeah. Randy just gave up, Michael. Let me That's ring this bell. Give me that hammer, Miss Decker. Put the hammer back. Please stand back. You don't want to get in the way of these guys, especially oh, we got the ghost strong. army out here with us still. They've been out here all night. You've been hanging out with them. Missed a couple commentaries because of uh, those guys. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I like oh! that hangman DDT. I like C4 and Edge Crush. Shades of Shades of the Viper there. Uh, I, I like these guys as well. They're a great tag team. They're fun to hang out with. Me and C4 hung out last night. Yeah, Where were you guys? We went to uh, Denny's. I can, Again? I can understand you're yeah. not fighting Shane. Or we had a you eat pancake contest, but let's get back to the match here. No, a great match up here at Auto Massacre in front of the capacity crowd. Ooh, of course, those here right hands of home base of Johnstown. We're looking forward oh. to. Uh, All right, Cash, we understand. Edge chop. We're looking forward to making our debut at I the like to hear Blair from County Cass. Convention Center, guys. He's so wise. What? Fires him off in the ropes. Here comes Sherrod Hall. Did you just say Kess Edison and Wise oh. in the same sentence? I hope you're talking about the supermarket and not Kess Edison's Hey, we're going session. to Wise? Sherrod? No, we're not going to Zach Wise. Zach Rain is oh. rock. Oh! Put that boot right to that weak shoulder of Sherrod Hall. He goes for that discus clothesline. Oh, man, he got him up. Boom! Oh. Oh. That was cool. That was like a, spy, like a spiral Death Valley driver. That, was that is that why move. they call him the compendium of cool. That was just Unbelievable. Cool. Moves like that yeah. are just tremendous. Sherrod wisely bailing out for a little bit. Yeah, but he's heading to the wrong side of town. I'll say he is. Come on, you can take out Shane Malice. Don't on, turn Sherrod. your back on Kess Edison either. No, oh! Kess isn't going to do anything. He helped Kess fix his tie. Kess is a nice guy like that. He remembers people doing favors. Ooh. And that boot, or that foot right to the shoulder when he was falling. Like I said, it's three on one. Now what business is no, no, What see, business was no, that? No, Cass said, you didn't need to do that. The guy no, helped me with my said, tie. No, the guy I, fixed me up, and you had to do that to him. That's not what he's saying. Insecurity! And now, what's Zach going for now? Oh, look at that. Nice float over oh, no, into no, that no, arm no, no. bar. Don't, come on. I, did, he, did he tap? Hurt. Did it he tap? Did he tap, tap. I'm just curious. Don't I, tap, I come on, Cass. Put Zach's foot on the road. You want him to tap? No, but... Yeah, this match is too good. I want to see it continue. Yeah, oh, that's it. He's that's tapping. It. That's it. Here you go, Kevin. Thanks to Shane Malice's involvement. Unbelievable. Snap Fitness is the affordable neighborhood club that's close to home, so you can get fit wherever you want. 
It's always open so you can get fit whenever you want. And it's got a comfortable, friendly atmosphere so you can get fit however you want. Really? Snap Fitness. A good fit. you love the action you see on AON Rundown, then make sure you see the best show in town, AON Pro Wrestling Live. Well, that's the end of the show, Drew. End of the show? Yes, we're done. I'm going to go eat some leftover turkey. we got about, what, 15 minutes left. We do. Don't we? Where's that? Where do you get this? On top of the fact, we we haven't gotten a video or anything like that about Mike Edwards. I mean, is, is he okay? What's Maybe going on? he's been erased from existence. No. Okay. Here's Joe. Oh. Oh. It's on CD this week. Nice. Yeah. Let's see how Judge Doom is doing. Here, Frank. My name is Michael Edwards. I am the co-host of the AO1 Rundown, and I am being held captive by the cartel. I have a statement from Israel Sharif Fakur. Kess, look at the condition of your friend Michael Edwards. This is what faith looks like. The funny thing about faith is that if you place it in the wrong place, it means nothing. You continue to prove that. Ever since you entered into AON, you have sought to push your personal agenda. And for the longest time, I thought it was personal. However, I can clearly say that you are exactly who I thought you were, with how you have set this all up for yourself and Project 13. With that being said, if you don't meet my demands, as well as my next demand that I will address in a minute by next week's rundown, as I stated before, Michael Edwards will be left on your hands on December 12th episode. And what I mean by that is he will be transported out of the United States and shipped to an Iranian facility where I know where you know the rest. Now Drew Shannon will announce us as soon to be tag team champions. Twice a show starting this minute and up to announcements at Better Left Unsaid. Freedom of speech comes at a price. Only this time you're the one paying for it. I will be watching you. And Kess, next week, you can make us happy, or you can make your co-owner, the broker, happy. Now wait, you hold the phone here. I, I'm not gonna announce those tools as anything. Let you alone, or I ain't. Let alone the sooner, no I'm not. <laughs> I don't announce him as anything, let alone the soon to be tag champs. They haven't heard anything yet. And if Kess doesn't give in to their demands, they're going to take Mike Edwards to an Iranian facility. And you know what that means. I, X, I hate to imagine. You know it's there. It's the dip drill. Kills tunes. You have some issues. And you're, you're paranoid. You know this, right? This is getting out of control. That's all. It's getting out of control. If you're as confused as X over here, make sure you join us next week right here on ABC 23 at 11.30 a.m. We're going to go wrestler by wrestler and bring you, yes, you up there, bring you up to speed on exactly what is going on here with All or Nothing Professional Wrestling. If you're one of our many, many new viewers, you are not going to want to miss this show. It is going to be something you have to check out next week, right here, ABC 23 at 11.30. That's right. Join us right here next week on ABC 23. You already said all that. You're back. Yeah. Ah, whatever. I'm still going to need to investigate one Mike Edwards. X. He's a real person and your friend. Amen for AOM. <laughs>